Hi, I'm Donna G. Berry, and I am known to some of you who like to painting with me, but today I am going to share with you something new that I haven't done before. This is a YouTube live with a sale that's going on on my website. So it's onestroke.com. You spell it all out, onestroke.com. And I'm excited to just share a little bit about our site and how you could be painting with me with just a few um, simple products. And that's going to be fun to share with you. So you can watch this anytime. But the special that I have on today is going to be good till the end of July. So I just wanted you all to check it out and see what you thought. And I would love to have chats here if you guys want to write me and ask me questions about the product I'm showing you. Um, I have lots of fun things in front of me that I'm going to share with you a little bit. And if you like painting one stroke or if you've ever wanted to paint, I'm going to share with you how easy it is to be able to do that. So a couple of things that will make it good for you is that you have the right kind of paint. And so when I share with you that we have multi-surface, folk art multi-surface paint, that paint has a sealer in it. It's got luscious, rich colors where they look like oils and it works perfect for the one stroke painting technique. So hello, hello guys. Um, thanks for coming on. So we have all kinds of luscious colors. Wanted y'all to know about that. We also have tools. I've started using uh, one of my tools today. So I want to show you what that looks like. Hello from Texas. Hello, Bernadette from Florida. I know that. All right. So this is a double loader. So if you if you are on my channel, if you're not on my channel, come join my Donna Dewberry channel. And when you subscribe, it lets you know when I'm going to be on live. And it has at least, I mean, there's 600 or so videos there. But I want you to know I do a relax and paint. That's very easy on Wednesdays that people just follow. It's something that you can easily paint with me. Hello, hello, guys. And then on Fridays is um, a practice stroke. So there's short tutorials. So if you've never painted before and you want to learn how to paint one stroke painting, I'm Donna Degree. I created one stroke painting. And one stroke painting is I'm using folk art paint. I'm using my brushes that work great for it. And hello from India. We've got lots of people in India and Asia and Canada and all over the world painting with me, not just the U.S. So that's awesome. We have tens of thousands of instructors out there. So if you've never come on before, I'm thrilled for you to be on. Let me show you. This is a double loader. And all of this is on onestroke.com. And by watching today, you're going to get this special discount. And here's your discount code. Is that backwards for you? I don't know if that's backwards. It says YT for YouTube, save, and it's 20%. Can somebody tell me if that was backwards? <laughs> I don't know. All right. So then this double loader, see you put all your paints in. And as you're double loading through this, and I teach you all that on practice strokes, go to double loading. They teach you how to use it. All right. And inside the lid is, is a air area here is perfect. Okay, thanks. And then you dampen the sponge, put it in there, cover this up. And then so I can paint with this later today, I'm going to just pop this on. Now, let me explain to you that you put two colors next to each other and you double load between them. And that makes it a perfect process to do one stroke painting because you blend shade and highlight in each stroke. All right. So there's that tool. All right. Then we have our brush basin that's on there also. And so all the tools, tools are wonderful. And I teach how to use all those tools. Okay. So YouTube, T-Y-Y-T, <laughs> save 20%. So you punch in this code on my website, onestroke.com, and you're going to get 20% off to the end of July on everything I'm showing you. Okay. So if you like one stroke, if you want to see how to do pretty paintings that make it possible for you to do all kinds of different designs I'm going to be sharing with you. I'm going to show them. So you got to stay on so you can see, okay? So there's just a few designs I want you to see. But then I want to show you some great things that happen. Not only do I take and do a picture, but I also make a packet to go with it so that everybody can learn that step by step. So let me show you what happens on here. 
This is um, a packet right here with all kinds of step-by-steps inside that's gonna show you right here how to do everything. And you leave it in the plastic sleeve and paint on top of the sleeve. Okay, how cool is that? And then see the buckets and all the different step-by-steps all the way. Oops, there's two packs in here. <laughs> all right, so then inside, you're gonna get the full pattern to trace it on and everything you need on the back of each one. I ordered these items and didn't see the bill come in. Now I see you cancel one. Please let me know. It, you know what it is? Is if the it automatically cancels on those Facebook lives if you don't pay by the deadline date. But you can just say you can email me back and say please reinstate that for me. Okay. So anyway, these each are packets that you can use. I always watch at night. Glad to catch you live. Thank you guys. All right. And you don't want to miss. We do have a live today at three thirty with Amanda. All right, so this is a special on my onestart.com site. So let me share with you. That's a packet. I told you about our YouTube site. I want to show you some tools that I use. So if you've been watching me and you like what we do, I want you to see that we have right here, we have the value pack. Now this value pack is a 1059 value pack. It's got 10 of my most used brushes. So it's less than it's less than $20. And then you can also use this code. It's YT save 20. So it's 20% off. So you can get any of these. When you put this in on the cell, you get my sponge painters. That helps you background, do all my backgrounds that I'm going to show you. I do them with this. Makes it quick and easy, smooth, and very like ombre, really pretty. Okay, then here is the 10 piece value pack. That's all these green handle brushes that I use a lot. All right, they're all there, less than $20 for 10 quality brushes. All right, here's also some angle brushes, a set of angle brushes that we have. All the green handle brushes, like the fan brush, all of these are on there. And those are the ones I use on a regular basis when I'm teaching you during our lessons, okay? Because we have a membership on YouTube and we have a membership on Patreon. So there's two different ways to go do some formal lessons with me. And the Relax and Paint, you do nice lessons, but if you want to get a little bit more, um, have you considered selling uh, people that can't detect without accessory? I'll have to check that out. Thank you. All right. So then here is there's good, better, and best. All right. So this is the best. This is my signature set of brushes. And that has all these, the fans, the rakes, and uh, scruffies, all the signature brushes. I have roses on them. And the others are lavender and white. So this is Donna Dewberry, high quality brushes, but you get 20% off if you get it this month, okay? And starting today with this discount. Now, if you want some more craft brushes, more relaxed brushes, um, less expensive brushes, but remember, you got this, this are, are the basics. Where did I just put my? Those are good. The green are the best. No, good, better. These are better. And these are what my newbies like to start with. And these are the best. So just so you understand when you go looking at brushes. And my daughter Amanda has all kinds of special deals um, on the site where you can get sets of different combinations. And combinations like uh, the uh, a paint set, must use colors, things like that. So go look for that. Some beginner kits are there. All kinds of other things that you're going to get 20% off of. Now, here is a really good brush. If you're doing oversized, like behind me, they're inexpensive and you get two inch and a half brushes. All right. And then if you want some for your kids or, or you want still a pretty good brush, this is for glass painting. These are the same as my value pack, the green handles, but these are not as these aren't the quality of my others, okay? So I just want you to see the difference. These are blue, mine are green, and my high-end ones, <laughs> the best, are signature pretty colors on them, okay? And there's 13 of them. 
And then I have fun tools. I call this the kiss tool. It looks like a candy kiss because you guys called it that. It's rubber. It does all kinds of dotting. I don't know about you, but I love tools. All right. So uh, then we have a wipe away tool with a kiss tool in it. So you need you need paper next to you. You need to be writing this down because when you go, you're going to go, what did she say? So I just want you to make sure that you know, first of all, you got to write down. I'm going to tell you again, too. I'm going to hold it up for a minute. Here's the special code. Oh, right here. Do it all at once. YouTube save 20. See that? YT save 20. And it's on www.onestroke. Dot com. Okay. So that hopefully will help you. I also have a couple more things I'm going to share with you. And this, if you use any of the glitters that we have, or if you want to put the paste, we use paste sometimes. If you want to put any of that through a stencil, which I'm going to be showing you stencils next, these are silicone and they're really wonderful for doing that. This was for small little areas. This is for a larger area. Like when we're doing pumpkins, we're going to paste those pumpkins or we're going to put glitter on Halloween things, all kinds of fun stuff that's coming up. All right. I don't see any questions. Um, so let me know if you like this idea. We usually do Facebook Live, which Amanda's going to do Facebook Live at 3.30 today. And what I'm doing, and you can watch that and watch this over and over, just to let you know. But what I wanted to do is try out on my YouTube channel um, how to do a sell and see if we get negative, positive, if y'all thought it was good, if you can see what you want to see. And sometimes I'll be painting during it. Hello, Rachel and Lynn. Hello, hello. And Anne, uh, what? Just wondered, do you ever sleep? <laughs> I'm just sitting here. I thought I've got all this stuff sitting around me. And before I put it away, I'm going to show it to y'all. So don't forget the sponge. Now, I bet before I show you some paintings, when I've been painting, a lot of people have loved that I've used neons. So you do your painting and then you want to intensify it to make it brighter and prettier. There are neon colors. Look at these. I know this seems crazy, but I can take some of these colors and go back there and put it on there and make it pop even more. So hello, Miss Lee. I know you might see me a few times today. <laughs> so we've got pink, yellow, orange, purple, blue, and green. So you could go look at all those neons and say, that's what I want. So those are all on there. That's something that's really fun. Okay, so before I jump onto the paintings and stencils and stuff I'm dying to show you, I want you to see that floating medium comes in eight ounce. And I use floating medium. That's that clear that people say, what is that that you're using? We don't use water except to clean the brush. And the floating mediums we use so that if we're on something dry or we've got a ton of paint on that brush, we double loaded well in the double loader and it's still you know, leaving sputters and stuff, we use floating medium. So we load the brush, we dip it in the medium, and then we'll keep going. All those demonstrations, I know that purple neon is wonderful. All of these um, things I'm telling you, go to practice strokes. You can look from the beginning of practice strokes through, and I teach you anything you can imagine you want to know about one stroke. I have people all over the world saying, tell me, ma'am, how to do this. So I started putting tutorials on from 10 minutes to 15, 20 minutes, showing you how to use a double loader, how to use the basin, how to paint with an angle brush. All of that's there. So go binge on it. You'll like it. All right. So today while I'm on, I've got new people on. I just want you to know this is a YouTube live. I'm trying it new today. And we have a special for the those 12 that just came on. I want y'all to see. This is the special. If you put this code in on onestro.com, you're going to get 20% off for the rest of July. So it's a special, special. Mark wants to see if it works. And when my hubby says, let's try it, I'm going to try it. So eight ounce floating mediums and two ounce floating mediums. So I advise a lot of people to get this because you're waiting for the little bottle to come in and we use it all the time when we're stroking. Okay. Now, if you have your brushes and you let a paint dry in them, if you're kind of new, sometimes you do. Hello, Chrissy and Mo Monica. Hello, hello. I just want you to know this is Brush Plus. Brush Plus will clean all that bad stuff out of your brushes and keep them healthy. And you can rub it on the brushes and to straighten the, the chisel and the bristles out to keep them nice. All right. So I wanted you to know 
when I have so many people always saying, what sealer do you use? All right. So this one is satin, which I like. At Christmas, I might do gloss, but this is satin and we have gloss. We have all kinds of other um, sealers, but I want you to know this folk art sealer. This is an all purpose sealer. So if you want to base coat the wood or something before you paint it so it doesn't absorb it much or, or if you want to seal it on the outside, there's the new eight ounce bottle of that. OK, so then if you like to do fabric painting, which I like to do fabric painting, um, but as I told you, the experience fees are too important. All right. So shipping it to overseas, we do ship to all the countries that will allow um, us to ship in with, um, with the postal um, USPS. And we can't help the fees that it charges because that's not us. But we do ship to you. So you do. And that makes more sense. And if you put more together like especially stencils if you order multiple stencils for anybody when those ship to you then you're almost like getting free shipping on a bunch of the stuff so just let you know that years ago i had you would use put your projects on and could tilt it or raise it it was great for painting on glass because oh it was a spinner I know I found one I had and then I somebody begged me for it years ago and I ended up selling it. But it was a tool that held glass or whatever projects. Textile medium. All right. So textile textile medium comes with two sizes. Now we do have fabric paint, but you can use any of our acrylic paints and use textile medium with it. And um, I got how to use and how to do fabric paint on practice drugs. So and also ring the bell when you sign up, when you subscribe or when you take and join me for um, memberships or whatever. If you want to know when I'm on, when I'm on live or whatever, it will, and you ring the bell, it lets you know on your phone that, hey, Donna's on. Um, so live streaming. Yep. This tab is using your camera or microphone. OK, hello. <laughs> the computer's talking to me, too. All right. So I wanted you to know a little bit about some mediums and a little bit about sealers. OK, so <clears throat> go watch the short training videos. OK, so I also have shorts on my site now. And shorts are getting lots of new people to come join. And so if you this is like what's coming up for you all to paint on practice strokes so you know how to do um, um, morning glory. This is one of the ones we did this last week. All these are free lessons. Look how fun this is. Because if you want, let me turn it so you can see it. This has dragonfly glaze on it. It's not, oh, there it is. See that dragonfly glaze? So we do this water spritz water effect using our paint. Looks like watercolor. Then we paint the dragonfly and then we put dragonfly glaze on here. So those are some of the things you learn on there. Okay. <clears throat> So I told you about packets. Oops, everything's tumbling. I have too much. Told you about brushes, told you about mediums, told you about neon. These are things I use a lot and you'll ask me. Now, I want to show you some stencils. All right. Now, I love stencils. I want to get, um, all right, where are they? I should just pull it out as I know what I want here. Okay, so this is one of the paintings we did. So I want you to see, I did this. You can sponge a white background with the painter sponge. You can then take stencil brushes. I have a couple of sets. Go look at them on, online. You have smaller for smaller. I just want you to know why you would pick which uh, stencil brushes. These are for smaller. They have really little spaces up to big. Like when I do the bumblebee, sometimes I need the smaller ones. And then we have these Waverly's on there. Those are really nice. And we got they have some bigger um, brushes. So just go and hit stencil brushes on search and it will take you to them. All right. Same thing with the mediums and sealers and packets, everything that you want to learn. Okay. So let me share the thought and uh, options on a heat tool with one. All right. So what I use is a hair dryer, but there are heat guns. But when I use heat guns and I've seen newbies, they blister the paint. So I'm very careful about that. I don't know if that's what you're talking about. How many coats of Dragonfly Glaze do you use? Two to three coats. You let it dry and add a little bit more. And that gives you more glitter and fun. Okay. Um, I'm trying to remember. Use multi-surface acrylic on glass. Do I have to put them in the oven? Yes. 
Yes, those are good questions. Good questions. All right. So if you you can, we've got enamel paint and we've got multi-surface paint. So more, they both go in the oven to bake them to be on glass or ceramic or um, mirrors. I don't put it in wine glasses and things like that. I do things that you're going to use a lot. But um, I want you to know that um, you get a satin shine on the multi-surface paint that you use on glass. And, and enamels gives you a high gloss. So you decide which one you want, but there's a lot more colors with multi-surface. All right, so now see the sunflower? I want you to see this is the stencil in the background. All right, well, it's one of my best selling stencils because I use it a lot. A lot of people like that you can put any color in the background, but the beauty of it, that's a 12 by 12. Here's a six by six, all right? So you can get both of these and move them around and make them really nice. I use them off. Uh, really easy stencils are really easy to put on shirts and clothing or jeans or whatever. Like you could take this and just do it all metallics on your jeans and just have a wandering pretty vine. You could put this on. I did these on little uh, coasters and stuff. And then I put my bubble bees on top. So see the bubble bees? Let me see if I can find that bubble bee here. So what this is a new stencil that I created. So here it is. So here's the bumblebee and it says, be kind, humble and kind, family is grateful. So it's be kind, be grateful, be kind. You can put a B instead of the word B. All right. And you can just um, use small bees and large bees. All right. A bumblebee, big old bumblebee. And then these are traditional bees, okay? So I want you to see how it takes two steps to do those bees. And look, all the little legs and everything are perfectly done. Oh, there's the word kind. See, I ombre the kind on there. So just going to show you a couple of stencils that I think you'll like. All right, so there's an all over background. All right, then I have, let me just show you. This works really well for teaching you about stencils all right this is also just a white canvas all right now on this white canvas i ended up putting this um buffalo plaid i use this all through halloween with pumpkins uh during the fall and christmas with christmas backgrounds so um i want you to see i just put a little bit here with all blue and white design and then all of these little fern around here i'm going to show you a wreath uh, with my here it is this wreath fern, all right? You can put it all around the edges, all right? So this is also a packet and an online lesson that you can get on my site, all right? So while I've got that wreath out, let me show you this one, all right? So this one is, there we go. Here is this wreath if I was just to lay it down and stencil, okay? So see all the little, you can go back and add a few more, flip it around and add a few more. And in that stencil, it has a dragonfly and a butterfly and a bumblebee. Where is the bubble? What butterfly? Oh, it's a big open butterfly. I, didn't, I guess I didn't put it on there. <laughs> but anyway, so I made this. We did Christmas ornaments on this with the right colors for evergreens and all with balls of Christmas ornaments. And then we moved the stencil around to fill in after we put the balls in the wreath. And then we spring, and then we did it for fall with pumpkins in the middle. All right. So the stencils that I've created are elements that help you make a quick painting. All right. You love the rooster. Thank you. All right. So um, so that was this one. And I also, I don't think I have anything here to show you with this, but this music stencil, I use a lot during um, Christmas. I've done it on shirts. And if you just put this on cotton, the um, a cotton blend, and you take your stencil brush across it with metallic like that, I've done shirts for 15 minutes. But what I wanted to show you is that here's a little one. So if you do journaling, you have the smaller ones and you can mix them all in around. I put, I put birds with the music notes and you don't have to do a straight. You can just do um, versions of a little bit here and a little bit there. Am I talking too much? Yes. <laughs> okay. So I told you this is a packet that's coming up. All right. And here is one that's really fun. All right. So 
I have done this. And then let me show you what happens here. I have stenciled. See this one? All right. So I stenciled the clothesline. And it even has a basket. See the basket? All right. So the clothesline went on here. This is a 10 by 20. I taught this class a bunch. And then I came right back and look at this. Then I put just a little detail on the clothing. All right. But what I've also done is you can use the, some of these clothing pieces. And then I have a fence. All of the fences and the clothing for the clothesline are on my website. Okay. And there's a packet that shows you all of these um, clothesline Clothesline paintings, all right? <laughs> it's good to show helpful products. Yes, I know. And so I was going to share with Miss Honeycutt. Her daughter took this stencil that I shared, and this is what I showed her daughter. And then Miss Linda added a red fence at the bottom and put a bird and a wreath on here. And Yes, it's also a stencil. The rooster is? Oh, yeah, there's a rooster, too. All right, so the red fence on here and more snow around it, it was gorgeous. But listen, you know, that is a fun project that you can do very quickly for the shows if you sell your things during the holidays. All right, so remember, this is a special because we got new people on. This is um, my special right now is YT for YouTube, save 20% on onestroke.com. This is a YouTube live. I'm trying to find out if I can spark your interest and where could a newbie start? Well, what I would tell you to start, all the people who, that come on and say, ma'am, tell me what I, I need. Tell me how to do this. If you go to my practice store, so you go to the beginning where I teach you how to use tools, how to use the basin and a double loader that helps but you need brushes. So what I would tell you to do is get this set of brushes. It's got 10 brushes, which is everything you need to get started and paint for a while. All right. So there's 10 brushes and you get a basin and a double loader helps. And then pick out one of those paint sets that I have on there. And that helps it really easy uh, be possible for you to be painting with me. All right. I love the fence too. It helps. All right. And we do have teachers all over the world. And I just love that we got teachers that will even do it online with you and spend one on one time with you. But if you ever wanted to become a teacher, guys, this is a perfect way for you to get a hold of us on, on onestroke.com and ask how to how to get certified how to do this you can be certified from at home even okay so we need more teachers this is what i showed you i felt i didn't have this with me this is how i came with the neons and i put the neon pinks here on top of this and neon purples in here okay so when this hangs and the blues are in the and the greenery in the back so this is um a longer lesson that you would take right there on my site but i want you to see that that neon went on after everything was dry so the whole idea of me being on today is i wanted to inspire you here's the rooster again i have these a uh, couple of, i probably have four three or four packets of how to do different roosters this was a french rooster with the blue and whites and wanted you to see you can make it any color we're doing at our convention. We're doing a one stroke convention and we are doing a rooster that's more vintage. And that's going to be this. That's going to be on here after a while for sale, too, to let you see. I have books, tensiles. I, so I made these bigger. I scooted it up after I did the bottom and did it a thicker one and turned it into a box. So if you don't know angles. So I do. Um, give you a lot of things that help make life easier. And I don't know if you have seen any of you guys, if you go look at my packets, you will see all these shelves with bottles on them. And so I made from a mason jar to all these different shape bottles. You can make them taller or make them wider by sliding the stencil after you do one side of it. And I am out of breath. I just wanted <coughs> to give you those ideas to inspire you. <coughs> Excuse me. Your stencils are fantastic and clean up beautifully with hand sanitizer. I know I'm bad. 
I, I'm online showing you guys, and then I throw them down into a bin, and I and this is how I go find it. So it is good. Even alcohol will take it off. But if you get a 12 by 12 uh, wash basin and just lay it there and um, have some people that put water in it and let it sit, lay this in there. I've had big stencils I put in my tub, let them soak a few minutes and scrub it off. But I wouldn't do that in my tub now. <laughs> okay, so um, it's all about sharing with you my love for teaching people. My love, um, I feel very blessed that God gave me the ability to raise seven children and not be able to go to take a painting class and taught myself at home how to paint and be able to create a technique that's all over the world now. And I have countries, so many countries that I've gone to that I never thought about going to in my life. And I've, I've got friends all over the world and it's been a blessing to me. Dawn Power Wash is great for cleaning stencils. I have fallen in love with Dawn Power Wash. I'm telling you, Anne, thank you. Uh, uh, so I want you to know that um, God has blessed me that I was able to teach myself. I never even knew that you could go to painting classes. And people said, you never went to those painting shows. I'm like, I never went on a plane. I, never, I lived in Florida. I was happy being a mom. I loved having my children. I wanted them all in my house. So I had all the neighbors there too. And I sat at my dining room table night after night and created uh, for magazines and for uh, the paint company. And today I am blessed that I've been able to travel many places and be able to share painting. And I, it's my passion. And so I am excited to see if this YouTube works where I come on and show you how to use product. And if it works, I can slow down and show you more how to do the stencils. But I have shown on my practice strokes there. There's over 600 videos for y'all to watch on the practice strokes. I do short tutorials that says this is how you use the basin. This is how you use a double loader. This is how you load it. This is how this brush works. And this is how you paint on fabric on glass, how to make those leaves that look hard that Donna's doing. So you can watch my relax and paint. All that's free. You can watch my relax and paint and then take from that and go, I'm not sure how she did that. Even watching it over and over. Then you go to practice strokes and find the leaf I was doing and then watch it. And I go real slow so that you can see how to do it. So that's my YouTube channel. Then I started a membership. One stroke advantage gives you 20% every day off of anything on my website and so you don't have to have this special that i have today but i want you to know that i came on to give this extra special to everybody who wants to go on and pick whatever they want to pick for this live sometimes i'll have a different kind of live where i'm just showing you something and say i've got a special here that you can only get here right now um, but this is a way to get you to go check out my site to get you involved in getting the right product. And please rewatch this if you came on during it. We've had people coming on and off the whole time. Please rewatch it and see, um, see exactly all the little details I showed you about different brushes and why you want what kind of brushes. But I want you to know that today and almost an hour at 3.30, Amanda Dewberry, my daughter, is going to be on Facebook with some super deals. And it's the Donna Dewberry's official, Dewberry's official One Stroke Group on Facebook. One Stroke Group on Facebook, yes. So go check it out at 3.30. Amanda's going to be there with some super deals. All right. So thank you so much for being on. Let me know what you think. I'd love to have be able to do this more often. And I'll see you later.